So I want to put together a like a, a group of attorneys who legitimately want to sue the police, sue the counties, and, and like just wreak havoc on people. Because right now, with the way the economy is, that's where the money is. The deep pockets are the cops, the judges, the jails, and front of the court. Mm. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that was that whole point of that one documentary, Divorce Inc., right? It was like, yeah. wow, this is big, big business. And, and then there was that other guy. Oh, that was like, what, two days ago? He went and whacked, whacked uh, his, his ex wife's attorney. That was. Uh, didn't hear that one. Oh, uh, you didn't hear about that. Well, I can bring up the article. Now, bring it up. One. Let's talk about it real quick because th- this yeah. is just yeah, crazy. Let's talk about this one. Yeah. Uh, let me find it here. Did and I, listen, I am not public. condoning violence, but all I have to say is I am shocked that this doesn't happen every fucking day. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're older. Like this individual was like 60 years or, or over 60, and he got like mm-hmm. royally fucking crucified. In, and at that age, you are never going to recover. No. All right, let's check it out. Yeah, here we go. Here, I'm going to go to present. And share screen. Boom. Go. Boom. Boom. There it is. Divor- Georgia divorce lawyer allegedly killed by client's estranged husband. Mm-hmm. Yep. What is and that? I'm listen. I don't want to go through your stupid gallery. Get the fuck out. Like of I am Ooh. shocked that I mean this isn't happening all the time. Especially yeah. here's another one. Like you find out a kid's not yours, and they're still forcing you to pay child support, even though it's proven by DNA. They're literally turning you into a slave. Right. Why though? I, I could not live like that. I, I'm sorry. I just can't. Put my, so I, this guy, <clears throat> apparently he showed up, shot him, and then set fire to his office with gasoline before he was spotted walking away from the scene of the crime suffering from burns of his own. Uh, Investigators say that uh, Taya owed Lewis. Lewis was the attorney. $28,000 in legal fees after the well-respected attorney won his ex-wife a $170,000 settlement, and a judge ordered he pay for his ex's attorney fees as well. There you go. Wow. And uh, we, all know awesome. how, yeah, we all know how lovely and, you know, amazing. obviously th- this individual was either pissed or full of hate because he was operating at best two-dimensionally. Yes. Yeah. If he would have remained calm and planned it out correctly... <laughs> like I do in my books. Yeah. It, it, it would have been a whole different thing. If you're gonna whack an attorney, you gotta be smart enough. Well, I did oh, let, 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 let's okay, let's be clear. We are not condoning oh, any of this. We are not condoning any of this behavior. No, 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 I, I wrote no. a book that I will never publish called <laughs> it's called How to Kill Anyone. No, it's not for sale, and I'll never publish. Cut it. to the B-roll, Blake. Cut to the B-roll. <laughs> you can charge you can it under a pseudonym. Ah, uh, yeah, they would find me. How to kill anyone by Chuck U. Farley? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm saying that when I wrote that book, I was in a very bad place, and really? no evil pop wrote that book, and literally I'm sitting there like he's. Uh, Evil Pop is writing. I'm like, oh my no, god! It's not I recommended to let him out of the box. Yeah, for that I can't believe I know this shit. Ah, you know. I, Did you have like the the evil Bert haircut at the same time too? Oh, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's that's the back cover, right? You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does yeah. evil Bert take baths? With <laughs> right. Evil no. Okay, I, I'm, I'm glad. I yeah, yeah, that's sure. no, it's none of that. But and <laughs> the thing is, there's a lot of the tricks that I put in that uh, that book, which I call the Book of Evil. Book of are <laughs> actually in, in my, you know, my novels, uh, which is fiction. It's all fiction, it's all right? Fiction. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely all fiction. fiction. He has not verified any of these techniques and does not recommend them for anyone. But he is surprised that it doesn't happen to more of these divorce attorneys on the regular. I, I, yes, I am. I, I'm totally shocked. I, I, I mean, they lie for a living. You remember mm. when we did that episode? Yep debunking the lawyers that one divorce attorney locally who was trying to say how joint custody was just going to hurt yes. kids and moms and it was the most cringeworthy psychotic bait you've ever fucking read. Yeah, do you remember back in the day when did, we went uh, we traveled for the interview with that old dude yes. set in his house he literally had like three million dollars of real estate and that is in like 2000 and 
11 back then? No, it was, it was earlier than that. Stolen. Yep. And there's fuck all he could have done about Stolen it. Stolen by his wife and the attorneys. Yes. Including his own, if I remember correctly. I, I don't remember the, the details. I'm sure that guy's dead by now. but if, he... uh, if he's not, chances are a few other people might be. Well, I'll, all I can say is there's, um, and I say this all the time, if you can't get justice in the courts, historically speaking, yep. people get it outside the court. And and right now, our courts, our system are operating under qualified immunity, which means they can do whatever the fuck they want, and there is no negative repercussions for them at all. At all. So that means there is no fucking constitution. Yep. So you need to remember that. Yeah, you're right. Yep. And But you bring that up, and then the people who are literally wiping their ass with the constitution are claiming that our democracy is under attack. Yeah. Ah, ah! Well, first of all, pure democracy is nothing but uh, you know, chaos and mob rule, and that's that's never going to take you. Anywhere. We don't have a democracy, and no. I'm glad for that. We have a republic, yes, and uh, that well, does some d- democratic stuff. Depending on what state you live in, had yeah, that's right, had had. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case of books.